up ahead. Jason Day had the round in 70 yesterday with a double bogey on the scorecard. And he has bubbled back up. Good to see. Champion here in 2016. Handsome. Handsome. Oh, handsome. Oh, oh. First cut of rough for Jason Day here, 12. It can be helpful there from 112. Hmm. Back. back over at three. JT Poston for birdie. Oh, what a beautiful stroke that was. Hovland is second at 15. Yeah, from 175 pins all the way in the back. Look at this. Back over at the first where things look and sound a lot more serene. That's the third for Fitzpatrick. Needs to get on his horse. Giddy up. What a mediocrity there. Nothing's really standing out. Needs to drive it in a few more fairways and get the approach shots a little closer. And Griffin, hello. 50 footer there at the 12th. Wow. And looking on that, Fitzpatrick. This is for birdie at four. Seen a lot of carnage, John. Yeah. Not for the Englishman, though. Yeah, this is the place to putt from. Back up the hill. It's swinging mm -hmm. and sliding. Mm -hmm. Sahith Tagawa has missed the green at three. Flag like, stick out. Looks like a makeable chip. Usually take it out when you think you're going to make it. Yeah! Hey! More important to focus on the pace than anything. Uh -uh. Oh, did he? Oh, he did indeed. Max, over. <laughs> and Xander Shoffley with his putt for birdie. It's a crazy first dozen holes for Shoffley yesterday. Steadier since, better play, and that one gets Shoffley to even par. We're at the 12th now, and a moment ago, Jimmy, this is Dylan Wu trying to continue to work his way up the leaderboard. Yeah, this short drivable par four. We'll see that over the weekend, not the first two days. Playing its full length, 370 today. It's a good line. Oh, what a shot by Gary Woodlands. He challenges the upper deck, uses the wind and the spin. We won't see a better shot than that late. What a great shot. Tony Finau. Well, we use the cliche, what a difference a day makes and what a difference a whole location and the wind can make. This par four now, the easiest on the golf course. Cage Lee, oh, we said can really use one. Well, he did. That's hard to tell on this view from behind the green how uphill that putt was at the beginning. Should be looking just left of this whole location and will gently feed right when it lands. Try, again, trying to hit a little left to right in there. Nice job. Lovely, lovely. Look at two. this. Oh. oh, that's to tap in. What a start Oof. for Morikawa, and instantly will get him right on top of the leaderboard. Paul was just talking about number two is Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah, third shot. easiest hole on the golf course today, Mike, this one. And as I say, into the wind is often easier for the players than downwind. Ha ho, Tommy Fleetwood. He really has got the full package. There's no weaknesses in Tommy's game. A little bit more confidence is all that's required. At the fifth, Justin Suh. As he continues to claw back in this round. Five that's bogeys in his first nine holes. But he's birdie three last four now. And watch this. This was the tee shot to get things started. So it's an aggressive play. Cutting that much. Certainly brings the water into play. But no. Mm, look at that. It clipped one of the members of the gallery over there, kicked back into the fairway. That was a massive break. Yeah, and the third member of this group now, Jordan Spieth, probably in the best position. Would you be surprised? <laughs> of course not. Uh, boy, and Jimmy, he didn't take any time to do that. Tyler Duncan shot 73 yesterday. Just missed to the left, and handy little shot there for Duncan. Well, he had to have a nice lie there. You saw that ball check right there as it was halfway to the hole. Oh, 
Yeah, very nice. Very nice. It's almost like the Players' Championship and all of its noise and hubbub are going on somewhere else. Tyrrell Hatton's birdie attempt. By the way, Justin Saw putted off the green at this hole earlier today, so you have to be careful, or you can just bury it like Hatton. Good shape, 135 out. Yep, piped it down the middle, and that's a nice finish. You know, he really extends through the zone with those short clubs. What a shot. Yeah, that ought to be a birdie there for Tony to get to plus one and be right on that cut line at the moment. The wind could be behind him and maybe a little off his right, but this is still holy mackerel. How do you get it close here? That's how. <laughs> you just <laughs> dribbled it over the sand. Yeah. And oh. that's oh. a near double eagle albatross. To 12. David Lingmurth, his second shot. Oh, hello. Ooh. Took a peek. Almost made a deuce. Trying to break into red figures. There you go. Right in the heart for Hideki. For an Eric Cole. What a show he put on at the Honda Classic a couple of weeks ago. Coming up just short in that playoff with Chris Kirk. Oh, here's that slope we saw earlier when McElroy had his pitch. This is really, really good from Eric. First time ever playing the golf course. Just off the green, his fourth shot. Yeah, there you go. But Zayden no making the turn. Tough shot. That rough is really thick. It came out. Looks like okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna run out. Oh, how good is this gonna turn out? Oh man. <laughs> He's got a good look at birdie along with. He's got different ideas. This is at 13, the par three, Aaron Badley. Players are hitting this green about 35% of the time. This is some kind of shot Badley. So far, that is the best of the day at 13. This was a moment ago, and we do mean long. 46 feet. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, you should have a wry smile. Keith Mitchell for birdie. Long way away, but a chance here to get to one under. Other than the four par fives, one is the only hole playing under par. Yeah, Keith Mitchell oh. dumps it in to get to one under. <laughs> Birdie putt for Brendan Wu now. Okay, that's three birdies in a row for Wu, and he's climbed all the way to two under par. Ball first here, hands forward, and I would say this has got to be out to the right. Huge slope in the middle of the green. If you hit it, it could get real close to the hole. Yeah, you, you go. I did a little bit more. That should funnel nicely. Yeah. I don't know if it's ever good to be in a divot. That didn't look too bad, Steve. That looked yep. like it, it wasn't down there. There wasn't sand behind the ball. Very nice golf swing. Wind is moving it to the right. Will it stop? The answer is no. He put it up in the air, didn't he? He did. Look out. That ball needs to set up. Oh. And that is the fourth player today alone to put it in the water twice. McKenzie Hughes for Eagle at 16. Shiblowing. Very nice. Moment ago, Luke List for Birdie. The only man in this group who hit the green with his tee shot. <laughs> Playing his second shot after a nice drive. This was earlier. This hole played the third toughest last year, fifth toughest historically, and Hadwin Beautiful. making it look a lot easier. He went on to make his birdie to get to three under par. Sneak out a birdie somehow with the great equalizer of the putter. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> the par three, it is a long one. 229 yards today. You were joking around the other day, Brad. This, this is a nice short par four, isn't it? It sure is. I mean, guys yesterday hitting three and four irons now, getting six irons. And what a nice kick for Atwood. How about that? That's a beautiful bounce. Wow. That knob can send the ball anywhere. Now another chance for a birdie. Off to a great start. Got to 10 under par. Got a Trying chance. Par here. Chance. Big save. Big, big save. Oh, Bad that's... tee shot, third shot. Hand came off the wheel. A real test Oof. there of in intestinal fortitude wow. there to be able to make that putt after that. Scheffler for back to back birdies. Saw Morikawa's putt go a little bit right at the end. Did he get it? Oh. Like it. 14th and Brandon Wu with his putt for birdie. A lot of good putts. Tommy Fleetwood just off the back of the green here, but this is for birdie. And Fleetwood trying to rally and make this cut. So yesterday he hit two shots in the water. One of five guys to do that. Oh, oh, how on. about this, Steve? Take that 17. Ha. Best shot of the day. Sure, what happened at the sixth? Another one of the first timers in the Players' Championship, Austin Smotherman, a moment ago. Way to take care of it. So here's what the board looks like as we close business here on day two with the rain suspending play at 4:30 Eastern time. Two at eight under. Morikawa, Griffin, and Lee at six under. Scotty Scheffler sitting on an eagle putt. At 500 par as he plays the 11th. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here. To subscribe, click here.